Hi everyone, welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today I wanna to show you how you can add a surface worker to your Angular application. So the surface worker, it can actually augment your reliability and performance for your web app and increase that so it's gonna be on par with native apps on mobile. So adding the service worker is one of the key steps that you need to take to turn the app into a progressive web application and make it installable. So how do we do this? It's actually quite simple since we only have to just use the Angular CLI and call here uh, Angular add, add Angular slash progressive web application. And just by running that command, you're already gonna be mostly up and running. It's just gonna ask me if I wanna install and execute the package. And let's just take a look at exactly what it's doing. It's actually creating an Angular service worker configuration file, which we'll take a look at in a bit. It's creating a web manifest and it's creating a lot of icons here and updating some files. So let's first look at the Angular service worker configuration file. And this file is actually telling the service worker which assets and resources to intercept. And that's where the whole configuration for the service worker lives. So if you want to configure a service worker to only cache certain types of assets or resources, then this is the place you need to be. So if we take a look at the web manifest, there you actually have the configuration for your app everything that concerns the installability of your app on any type of device. So if users are gonna be installing your app from the browser onto their home screen on a mobile app, here you can specify, for example, the icons or the background color of the app. So let's take a look at our app module next, where we can see that running that Angular add command has added the service worker module to our app module and is registering that after 30 seconds or when the app is stable. So what do all these changes actually amount to in the end? So to demo this, I can't actually use the Angular CLI server. I'm gonna have to build my app here in production mode since the service worker is only enabled in production. And after that is built, I'm gonna spin up a just a simple HTTP server. And then we're gonna take a look at what happens in my browser. All right, now I've built my app and I can simply run a HTTP server on the output of my build. And if I navigate to that in my browser, you can actually see that my app is there and it's running and it's just the default Angular template app. And now what I can just do to show the effectiveness of this service worker is in my dev tools here i'm gonna turn off my network or actually just mock the offline behavior as my browser and now if i refresh the page we see that the app is still working fine so we don't actually need to have internet to load any static assets here as you can see in the network tab here uh, all these assets that are being loaded are actually being served from the service worker. So we don't even need to connect through the internet anymore to get to our app. So that's just a really basic example of Angular service worker. Of course, there's a lot of configuration you can do with that, but that should get you started down the road of progressive web applications.